So this is the video that I took of empty bookshelves that went viral and became the face of the removal of books in Florida. Deze schoolbibliotheek is uit voorzorg leeggehaald omdat scholen aangeklaagd kunnen worden als er een verboden boek wordt aangetroffen. This happened unexpectedly uh, at the beginning of, in January of the school year. So they removed 100% of the books in order to make an approved book list. So they took the books that kids were currently reading um, from them and it had to go through an improved book process. We zijn in Jacksonville, een middelgrote stad in het noorden van Florida, waar ouders van schoolgaande kinderen zich opeens midden in de cultuuroorlog bevinden. En boeken zijn het nieuwste strijdtoneel. So we've got our LGBTQ pile, okay, our um, race uh, discussion pile, race discussion, race discussion pile, um, magic yeah. gets its own category. Yep. Um, um, adultery, sex. I would put in the sex pile. There were actually in in Duval County alone, there were 176 that were that were taken off the shelves or, or banned um, specifically. But within the last several years, there's actually been um, six, over 1,600 new titles added to the list, and that's not just in Florida; that's nationwide. Yeah, at the bottom. Okay. Deze jonge moeders verzamelen de boeken die op veel scholen inmiddels verboden zijn. This book is banned, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling for witchcraft and magic. Queer There and Everywhere is banned because it discusses LGBTQ individuals who changed history. So Captain Underpants is banned because it's considered lewd. It has, you know, bathroom humor. Anti-racist baby is banned uh, because it teaches babies not to be racist, which is also clearly awful. This book is banned, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, A Counterintuitive Approach to Living a Good Life by Mark Manson, is banned because of the last word in the title, fuck. Volgens conservatieve politici moeten kinderen beschermd worden tegen pornografie en linkse indoctrinatie op scholen. So yes, we fight the woke in the legislature, but we also fight the woke in the schools. We fight the woke in the bureaucracy and we fight the woke in corporate America. The way they did it was they wrote the, um, the parental rights or don't say gay bill and the Stop Woke Act. And they combined it with uh, an old law about distributing pornography to minors. So they combined those three together and they made it so vague that teachers are willing or are, are, are afraid of losing their teaching certificate and their entire career because they accidentally put a picture book talking about different types of hair uh, for a mini minority. And a parent could argue that this is exclusionary to people that don't have this type of hair. Ook boeken die gebruikt worden bij seksuele voorlichting worden steeds vaker verboden. En het onderwerp wordt gemeden in klassen. Wat ervoor zorgt dat kinderen soms geen idee hebben wat er met ze gebeurt. For six years, I taught sixth grade, and I had two girls who got their period for the first time in my class and had no idea what was happening. Um, I, we weren't supposed to give them anything, like a pad or anything, but, we, but of course we did. Um, we would tell them to tie their jacket around their waist, but then they would get in trouble for doing that because it was a dress code violation. Um, and so these girls were absolutely mortified. Sometimes mm -hmm. they would, because they would get their period, they would stay home from school for the week. And then you're missing out on education right. because you don't know how to handle a very natural process. And there's nothing to be ashamed about either. Absolutely. And that's the thing. These girls are feeling shame about something that's natural, normal, happens to half the population. And that's just not fair to them.